creatures of the internet. Today, we're gonna be doing something kind of different. I mean, it's a game, but we're gonna be playing Diary of the Naked Truth. Your experience, I have a boyfriend I never met. <laughs> <laughs> Link to it in the description below. I actually didn't find this game for myself. I got a message on Twitter not too long ago. Beast Carving Studio sent me a message and they essentially asked if I could play this game and that I have a purse to make a Let's Play video on it. So, okay, I'll check it out. And when I first checked it out, I didn't see it. It might have been totally on me. I don't know, but I didn't see on the page. It looks like it was all for Android. Like, I didn't see that there was a download button. I looked. I don't know. Maybe that was on me but at that time there wasn't anything on so I was like okay I don't do phone games yet I, I don't have the setup for it and honestly right now I don't have a ton of interest in doing it and they're like no 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 there's just one episode and it's it, and you can play it on a PC so like, okay and I didn't know what to expect and this pops up and I am not trying to shit on the game okay I this could be the best game ever I actually don't mind the art it's like this like weird brat style kind of I actually don't mind it I don't think it's bad the problems that I find with these games mainly the reason why I don't play these kind of games are because they're formatted for a phone. That's number one. And I mean, I'll play them on my phone, sure, but like not on the PC. I assume that if it was available on the PC that they changed up some of the sizing on the screen, that kind of thing, so that you could go ahead and play it. That kind of thing. So like, that's the first thing that kind of has me going, huh? But I mean, other than that, it looks, it doesn't look bad. The art, I mean, it's its own style. I don't mind the art. We'll be able to play. I have a boyfriend I never met. Nothing else is available, unfortunately, for the PC right now. I don't know if they're planning on changing it, and I'm not trying to come off harsh. That's why I was like, eh, it kind of, you know, it is what it is, and I'm still going to make this video on it because I still want to play it and see what it's about, but that's the first thing that struck me when I opened this up is the fact that it, there's there's not really a screen setting option that I could see. Like, you can scroll through the six. It's, it seems to be very obviously made for a phone. That's all. I mean, like, that's the gist of what I'm saying. It, it doesn't seem like it's something that you'd naturally play on the PC. So, we got the mail. Schedule every two weeks, but only on Google Play. So, so this is not really a thing. That's the other thing. There's a, there's different endings, and there's alternative things that can happen in the story. Tips and heads up. Let's see. How about the welcome? Like this. I have to scroll. Hi, enjoy the first few stories in the app. There will soon be more diary entries made as soon as possible. In each diary entry, you'll have the option of two endings, which I think is really cool. I like the idea of this, and I even like the setting of this. So far, my only complaint is that it isn't really for a PC screen. It's not really for a PC. It's not PC friendly. You can play twice to get both endings. Some entries have multiple your experience endings. So remember, every diary entry has a naked truth ending, since every story is based on a true story or diary entry. Let's see if you make the same decisions as the writer, or if you will claim the truth and make it your experience. I like that. That's the reason why I was interested in the first place. I'm not opposed to the game. Like, it's an interesting game. From what I saw on the actual store page, whatever you want to call it, on the h.io page, game jolt page, I don't remember. But from that page, there's actually different genres of stories. The only one available, it looks like, is a romance one, because it's a, I had a boyfriend I never met. I would have loved to play the horror one, because apparently there's a horror one. That I would have been all for that. I'm still playing because I want to try it, obviously, but yeah. I don't know if eventually they're going to be made available for PC, or if it just is what it is. We have diaries here. But it looks like you can't really do anything on here. Like that, I think it's supposed to be the, the horror one. Disturbing. Dress up a name. Okay. Hi, diary pin. Change your name. Yes. What do you wish to be called rather than diary pin? Self voicing enabled. What Eval do you Gamer. Wish to be called? <laughs> I don't know what's pin. happening. Eval Gamer. Okay. What's, I don't what's know what's happening. What? Okay. Evil Game. Oh, shit. That's not even. We might be Eval Game. Hi. Evil Game. Yeah. Okay, what so I thought I, I thought I fucking like tapped game. into my fucking mic or something. Self voicing disabled. Evil gamer? Okay, that's what we'll do. That freaked me the fuck out. Okay. I thought I like tapped into my mic or some shit. I don't know, because I know that it's supposed to be a phone game originally. Alright, let's get our hair did. What hair is best? Or what looks the best, I should say. Okay, well realistically I'd probably just have my hair down. But let's have our hair up. Let's let's do our hair up. Clothing. Looks like we just got colors. There's no black. Okay. We know we gotta do the palest one. Ugh. Extras. Oh, it's just an eraser hat. Okay. I'm gonna say we're done. It looks like we're wrapped in a towel, but that'll work. So it looks like this is the only one that we can do. Continue. I just put in my name. Okay, Eval Gamer. All right. Enter. Dear Diary, why am I in some kind of hetero relationship? 
I never knew I was in. That's right! My best friend wanted me to be an aspiring matchmaker. Or was it a professional prankster? It's getting harder and harder to tell. That was a super awkward day. It already happened to me years ago. I'm fine. Now this is your experience. Oh, okay. I have a boyfriend I never met. You must play the diary on Android to unlock this. Okay, so this is, I guess, what the person, the writer of the story looked like. It looked like the one on the side that costs something. Either experience, like, playing on the phone or money money. I don't know. Let's do this. On any ordinary day, I was on my way to early morning math tutoring class. So I woke up around 6.30 to get ready. Class started about 6 or 6.30. I don't remember that day. Like most days, I showed up for the class after it was over. When I showed up to greet my best friend, she let me know right away that I had a boyfriend. My best friend's name was, let's say her name was Cherry Blossom. Okay, okay. Ooh, she cute. Oh my goodness, Evil Gamer. Good morning, Cherry Blossom. I know I missed class, sorry. You know, I don't care to show up to this crap. I know math. Yeah, explains why you're still in that class. But listen, I was all ears because she looked very excited for some reason. Like, I don't want to shit on the art, but it looks like... I actually kind of like the aesthetic on phone. It's just... <sighs> The boulder feels conflicted. Okay, I like the aesthetic on phone screens, and there's a way that you could make this look much better on the PC, and I think that's what I'm having a hard time getting over. I like the concept so far. She was never this excited early in the morning, especially after doing math. You know, Cloudy, you know from class, the class you didn't show up for? I said sorry already, CB, let it go. I was curious now because she was bringing up Cloudy and the fact that I didn't show up to school as if there was some kind of punishment waiting for me. What did you do? Oh, God. She got evil eyes! Cloudy's waiting for you outside of the classroom. I asked him out for you. Oh, look at her face! I was too busy and captured by this beautiful woman's evil, disgusting eyes. He's just sitting there right now waiting for his new girlfriend. That's not how it works! There was no consent! <laughs> okay, I love the expressions in this game. I like the expressions. Why did you do this to me? I was super shy and she loved subjecting me to situations like this. It's funny now. Looking back on it, by the way, we're still friends. That prank could have never changed that. Rejected. Um, I am my own person and you can't just like hook someone up like that. Okay, can we save it? It's not letting me. There's no like screen. So reject him. I would never have spoken to Cloudy. This is what I get for not showing up to class. Cherry Blossom hated tutoring mornings and when I was absent from class. So that was for sure sure my punishment. I walked over to the classroom to fix this mess that Cherry Blossom created for me. As soon as I turned the corner, Cloudy was sitting on one of the flower boxes right outside of Miss Boat's classroom. He sat there like a loner, you know, alone as loners are. That's an interesting line. That made it easier for me to approach him. Cloudy wasn't bad looking or anything, I just didn't want to date him. I walked over to Cloudy and I knew I had to break the news to him. I'm sure he wouldn't care anyway, but he was waiting for me, so this is gonna be awkward. Hey, Cloudy, I don't want to go out with you. Trust me, that was try me trying to be as nice as possible. I don't think it's rude. Someone tried to hook you up. You didn't have consent there. At the same time, I was mad at Cherry Blossom, so it was hard for me to lay down all the necessary cushions for Cloudy. What does Cloudy even look like? Oh, okay. What? What the fuck? Like I thought, Cloudy didn't say much, but... Oh, okay. Oh! Oh! He got him and walked away with his gigantic backpack, smothering him like a sap turtle okay oh my boy is sad i'm sorry i just i don't like that setting <laughs> there was no consent later that day cb and i ran into harp she was cb's second best friend and cloudy's good friends cherry blossom decided to tell harp that i brutally rejected cloudy and made him sad okay that wasn't the full fucking nah brother nah harp was dramatic so of course she started sobbing and crying and acting extra how dare she care about her friends like, <laughs> that is definitely extra in that situation. <laughs> Saying she was just annoying was an understatement. How could you, Evel Gamer? Cloudy's a good guy and he doesn't deserve that. Does he deserve to be randomly set up with someone who didn't know as a punishment? Like, come on, man. How could you do this to him? I said nothing. I just rolled my eyes and looked away because I knew I didn't do anything to Cloudy. Later that day, I was so annoyed with the whole thing, I was thinking to myself, poor Cloudy. He didn't want to start his morning off like that. He wanted wanted some coffee, some cereal, orange juice maybe, not a cold chili glass of rejection. Oh, oh my god. Some of, okay, the writing could definitely be worked on. And again, like for a, not to say that the standards are super low for phone games or app store games, but like, I think the wording could definitely be ran over. 
Maybe, I don't know, maybe my standards are too high. Maybe I'm just a picky bitch. Who the fuck? Editor, am I being a picky bitch? Let me know. So later on, as I attended my only other class that Cherry Blossom and I don't have together, I sat and thought of a good plan to get her back. Ooh, we gotta get revenge. Fuck that. Wait, I've got it. I know exactly how to get her back. I started to rip up small pieces of paper as a friend helped me. We wrote Cherry Blossom's phone number on them and then threw them all over the floor in the classroom. Everybody had Cherry Blossom's phone number now. Well, if they had picked them up. I went out of my way to hand a random kid one of the slips with her number on it. This guy didn't even care to have her number. What kind of prank was that? He was like, whose number is this and why should I care? <laughs> Yeah, I like that dude's hair. CB's number, Cherry Blossom. He proceeded to disappoint me when he said, Who's that? Is it that frightening that you- <laughs> The world doesn't revolve around you and your friends, m'lady. Doesn't matter, her phone number was all over the floor. Someone was bound to call prank call her at some point. Okay, if you want to set up a prank that involves, like, leaking someone's phone number and- I don't do this. But if you're going to do it, like set up some sort of clever or like meme flyer and put it up in your neighborhood. It takes a little more effort, a little more work, but you definitely gonna get some calls. We waited and waited for someone to pick one up and call her, but I didn't think anyone ever called her because from this day, I never heard about it. Wait, did you see that? It was just my eyes and my mouth. Holy shit, was that? I'm a ghost. I'm so pale, I'm a ghost. Class ended and I felt like I still lost. So as soon as I spotted CB after school, I told her what I'd done. Hey, Cherry Blossom, I wrote your phone number on a bunch of pieces of paper. Then I threw them all over the floor in Mr. Drif Mr. Drift's class. You did what? I felt like we were even, but that didn't stop her from doing this again. Cloudy was only the beginning. Spreading her number in class only gave her an idea for the next time. I ended up shooting myself in the foot, trying to get revenge. The naked truth ending. Oh, that's what she did? Because that's the naked truth, so that's what she did. Okay, this time we're going to accept him and see what happens. Dear diary, what? Okay, I want to skip that. I want to skip that. Okay, so I like how it's laid out so far. I don't think the graphics are horrible. I wish there was a little more avatar customization just because it seems to be very cut and paste. It's not super unique. And that might be intentional again. If it is, it is. I like that the background kind of matches the art style of the actual people. And I like the actual bubbles themselves. I like the actual word bubbles. I like how they look. I think that's really clever little touch. Eventually. All right, be his girlfriend. We got to do. We got to be his bae. Cloudy, the blonde boy that sits in front of me. He knows who I am. Yeah, I told him all about you. And I told him how much you want to be his girlfriend. He already said yes. So you guys are pretty much dating. Consent? <laughs> He already has your answer, so um, she is always playing games like this. I should have Okay, I mentioned before I was homeschooled. Is this a normal fucking thing in high school? Like, is this just a normal conversation? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. But like, did people randomly hook you up with other people and you didn't have a choice? Or if I don't show up at all, she becomes a bit annoying to say the least. I can't believe you. Do you have anything better to do? No big deal. I'll just mind my own business and go about my day like nothing is happening. How about that? Well, you lose still. Like it or not, he's your boyfriend. Word spreads fast too, good luck. Damn! I went over to have a peek at Cloudy waiting for me right outside of Miss Boat's class. He didn't notice me, he just slumped over like a turtle with his big backpack swallowing his body and his long bangs eating his forehead. These describers are actually kind of funny. I like the describers used in this, like 100%. It's just some of the stuff needs spell checking and some of the sentences are not correct grammar. I walked over to Cloudy because why not? What Cherry Blossom has done can't be that hard to undo, right? He looked up at me with an expression that I couldn't quite make out. Oh, hi, Evil Gamer. Cherry Blossom told me that, you know, why is he not wearing a shirt? Yeah, that we're right. Um, Cloudy, Cherry Blossom didn't. He looked up at me with a sad look in his eyes like a lost dog. Just a fragile little thing hiding in a hoodie. Oh, he's wearing a hoodie. Okay. He's a part of the hoodie gang. I love it. I didn't tell him that CB set us up and that I didn't really have a crush on him. The bell rang and for some reason, Cloudy got up and grabbed my hand because he thinks that he's your boyfriend. I don't know how that works. So since we're going together, can I hang out with you after school? Okay, I have multiple questions. I kind of like how this dude looks, but what is that hair on his head? Boy has a spring. I'm confused. And it mentions that he's wearing a hoodie, but is it a flesh colored hoodie? With like weird black patterning? I'm a, that is also a little confusion. 
I can walk you home. Oh, I, I, wait, did that say I can walk you home? <laughs> Since I live right across the street, Claudia knew exactly where I lived, and the whole school ended up knowing later on. Many of us lived across the street, but more people ended up knowing exactly where I lived. That's fucking creepy. I was spotted by this very annoying boy who was also another one of Cherry Blossom's annoying little projects, but that's a story for another time. I'll meet you after school then. Bye, Cloudy. Yeah, okay, I'll see you later. For I can walk away from him. I notice him following me. Wait, um... Um, do you have Mr. Drift later? Yeah. Okay, sit in the front nearest the door in the second seat from the back. Ooh, he got plans. I don't know what- Damn! That cloudy went to class leaving me with a brow raised. I have to think of a way to get Cherry Blossom back for this. Later in Mr. Drift's class, I sit in the seat that Cloudy told me to sit in. When I sat, I immediately saw the desk was carved into. Cloudy wrote his name, X my name, into it as a way to tell everyone that sat there, or rather everyone that goes to school, that he and I were an item. I have to get this off of the desk, but how? But I know there's no way I could do that without possibly getting caught or being spotted with a sharp item. Can you like Sharpie? Well, it's carved. Shit, I was gonna say you could like sharpie over it, but eh, try to remove it. I mean, we're gonna get caught, but try to remove it. I opened up my backpack to look for something to scrape the words off the rim of the desk. I ended up finding nothing in the bag, but I do have a few worn out bobby pins in my hair. These are torture to put in your hair when the round cap falls off, but this is sharp enough to get at least my name off of this by the time class is over. As soon as I start carving away, wood dust starts falling onto my lap. I try to speed up and watch my back at the same time, periodically glancing up at the teacher. That's when I accidentally shanked myself in the finger. BALLS! I cursed out loud, gaining the attention of the teacher. He walked over and saw my bleeding finger and the wood dust on the floor from when Cloudy carved into the desk last class. Oh, I, I kind of like how they're showing like the random strangers too. I like that aspect of it. Like the fact that there's just a tie in a silhouette. That's kind of cool. I like that. I'm into that. The graphics themselves, I actually don't mind. It's the lack of customization in that first menu that has me kind of annoyed. If you're going to offer that, offer it to a degree. Like the dress thing kind of annoys me. Of course, he assumed that I had done it all. I ended up getting expelled after they sent me to the nurse, of course. Cloudy never took the blame for vandalizing the desk. Your experience ending one to five short ending. Nah, 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 nah. We're gonna skip and I'm gonna see what happens in that last one in the... Uh. Okay, so leave it there. I hope the teacher never saw my name on that desk. I didn't want to be accused of vandalizing school property. I don't want to get expelled. I pretended like the carving wasn't there. After school, Cloudy was there waiting outside my classroom. We soon ran into Cherry Blossom talking with Harb, Cloudy's good friend. When Harb saw us together after school, she was happy that he had a girlfriend. Look at that, but why evil gamer? Fuck you, bitch! The salt! You don't sound too happy about it. I love Cloudy, so I'm happy if he's happy. Like, it won't let me... Okay, pause. I know you guys have probably noticed at the top, you see the thing that periodically, like, appears? I don't know what the trick is to get it appear, but I think that's how you save. You click the menu there. On a phone, I assume that you just tap that area. Like, right there! But it won't let me actually, like, click anything. I can't move the cursor, like, at all because it seems like it's formatted for a touch screen. No, 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 no. I don't want to leave. So it's the other side that saves it. That's kind of annoying, too, because this is supposed to be for PC. The other ones are supposed to be... It's... I don't know. Like, I, I, I understand that this is for phones. I understand that. But I'm a little annoyed that it was released for the computer when, like, you can't save it. It's not formatted for the PC, and you can't save it. And it makes me even sadder, because I'm actually liking the story choices and the art choices. I actually like that. I even like the music. The music's actually really nice, too. But, mmm, so oh, I get it. You're jealous of Evil Gamer, and you're not even hiding it. You're such a loser, Harb. What was I doing? More people knew about Cloudy and I, and I did nothing about it. Ready to walk home? Do I let Cloudy walk me home, or should I address this weird setup CB4 saw me? I let Cloudy walk me to my house before I had time to make up my mind. Cherry Blossom and I usually walk home together, but she gave me some space when Cloudy took the lead. Of course, she wasn't going to rescue me. She was enjoying all of this. <laughs> she just wants us to be happy. I have one rule before we go. A rule? He held out his hand to me. Aww! Glancing down at it. Then look at me. Okay, I don't approve of the setup for this story, but he, he just wants to hold hands! A boy! I smiled nervously, firstly wiping my hands on my jeans. We're not wearing jeans, we're wearing a dress. Making sure they weren't sweaty. So where do you live again? Are you going to pretend like you're not the one practically leading me to my house? Cloudy smirked and nudged me softly on the shoulder. I thought I should at least ask. He said, oh god, my boy got the devil horns. He smiled at me as if he was being sneaky. 
since you don't know. I softly laughed and rolled my eyes. Are you going to tell me where you live? You don't have to tell me, but no, I'll tell you. I live near Mountain Park, 12589. Your full address? Whoa, I'll call us even. And now you don't have to be nervous about me knowing where you live. Okay, that's, Cloudy's got a good head, head on his shoulders. He understands. Plus, you can call the cops on me if need be. Damn! Okay, his behavior's been a little questionable, but like that actually made me kind of happy that they threw that in there. We reached my place walking hand in hand, and I thought to myself, what now? My parents could see this, and I'm not even allowed to have a boyfriend. Share your feelings or go along with it? I can't save. So whatever ending I get this time is the end. Um, I kind of, I want, oh, save. Yes. Okay. So I don't know to access saves, but at least I saved it. Share my feelings. I dropped his hand and looked over at my house. Uh, did you want to hang out for a bit? I just, where would we hang out? I can't go far and not for too long. Listen, Cloudy, I'm not allowed to date. I took another moment to look at my house again, see if anyone was peeking through the windows. I never dated anyone before. Tell him that CB made you date him too. Come on, say it. Oh, Okay, I had no idea. We can go talk in front of the school then. We walked back to our school and we sat down in the grass in the shade. I sat on top of my Mount E backpack so my butt wouldn't get wet by the grass. Cody also sat on his gigantic backpack. He was at least a foot higher off. What is he having? What the fuck does this dude have in his backpack? I don't even know why I was going along with the stuff CB started. Honestly, I think Cloudy's pretty cool for not getting mad that I dropped his hand. At this point, I'm curious about him now, even though this started as a prank. But it is so awkward seeing people I know seeing us hanging out alone together. Most people that lingered around school at this time were couples. It was the one place they could be alone together without having to go out. Many of us could never go on dates because we were all 12. Jesus, she's 12 or 13? But that was the only way most couples- Okay, that actually explains a <laughs> that explains a lot. That was the only way most couples could get some alone time. Cloudy tried to hold my hand again, but I folded my arm to avoid it. You seem very nervous, Evil Gamer. I'm going to guess that you've had girlfriends before me, and obviously I know too. Yeah, why do you care about that? I don't know what I'm doing, that's all. Follow my lead. Ask me anything you want. I want you to be comfortable around me. Aw, well, it's your exes, Megan and Alice. He softly nodded his head, paying close attention to my demeanor. Megan and Alice looked nothing like me. I'd never guessed I'd be Cloudy's type. Megan was a short emo blonde. Alice was a short brunette cheerleader, so he likes short peoples. Cloudy, I'm pretty, you know, different from Megan and Alice. What do you mean different? I don't think I'm your type. Why did you say yes to dating me when CB told you that I liked you? Looking back, we did fit. He had his emo phase before I did, so I thought otherwise at the time. Shy kid I was, was still trying to look like a pre Happy popular girl since my EFF CB was. Damn, she was one of those. <laughs> Cloudy pulled on his drawstrings of his hoodie as if to hide in it. You're not really that different from those other girls. For starters, you're a girl. And you like me, so I guess I don't really have time. <laughs> My boy's brutally honest. Holy shit. He's like, you're female and you're into it, so. <laughs> Cloudy smiled at me and I started to take a liking to him. He knew how to make things humorous and light even while he was being serious. I think you're my type. I mean, I... How so? Am I being interrogated for being attracted to you? Cloudy started laughing, holding his hands over his mouth, rocking back and forth. I like you. I don't know. I'm sure because I'd like to get to know you better. You're shy and mysterious. You know what? I think I found a connection. That's my type then. Since you must have a category to be boxed into, shy and mysterious is super cute, and I'm super into girls like that. Happy? <laughs> My reaction when? Me? He grabbed both of my shoulders and shook me. Yeah, you. Are you always this carefree and confident? I elbowed him in his chest, not able to control my laughter. I mean, like, I guess I am mysterious, aren't I? Not for long. Even though he had the sun in his eye, I noticed that Cloudy watched me with a look of sincerity. We grew silent as we watched the cars passing by on the street. At that moment, I realized I didn't mind him being my boyfriend. He was actually really cool. He made dating him a comfortable thing that I grew to love. Cherry Blossom lost this round, but this wasn't her last new boyfriend prank. She has done this a lot, and well, you'll see. Oh, this is a reoccurring character. Your experience ending two to five, medium ending. All right, so we got three endings. Two of them were our endings, and one of them was the actual person's ending. And I think we're gonna close that off. There's not much else I can do, unfortunately. Like I said, I'm kind of bummed I can't do the horror one, because there is a horror one. I am intrigued. It does make me want to download the actual game on my phone. If this looks interesting to you, I definitely recommend you get it on Google Play. I think it's still in development or still being worked on actively, so hey, 
hey, things could change. I wasn't trying to shit on the game earlier, but it's so completely made for a phone. It just doesn't fit on the PC. The writing's okay. I feel like the different paragraphs and sentences need to be touched up on a little bit. They're not quite there. I don't mind the art. I think the art's actually kind of cute and adorable and just, oh my God, out there for some of the expressions. I love the expressions. And the music isn't bad either. I would love to compare this episode with another episode to see if there's different music, but I'm not sure. If you want to let me know about anything I mentioned in here, let me know what your favorite story is. Let me know what you thought about the story. Just drop it in the comments below. That's going to be that. If you enjoyed this game, drop a like. It means the world to me. Until next time, friends. Bye. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to stop talking to editor right now because <laughs> I'm trying to record. Whoops. Aw, oh, don't say sorry, editor. It's okay. We were talking. I have ass timing today. <laughs> today was shit. I couldn't record all day. And I'm fucking. I'll find it's almost 11 at night. I'll record and bitches. <laughs>